Michael Davis, what do you think is a, he's questionable, right? So what, uh, what is your kind of yeah, he just he had something happen at practice yesterday, just uh, uh, covering a play down the sideline and kind of came up banged up. So we had to list it on the injury report. Do you think he'll play here? Yes. And then uh, with uh, Nas, I think he had been limited and didn't practice this week. Did something happen with him? Yeah, just uh, coming out of the game, he had uh, a thumb. Uh, injury that also impacts the middle of his hand. And so what we want to do is practice him Wednesday, Thursday, see how it felt and, you know, see where it's at. And, you know, he's going to be doubtful for this game because I don't think he can grip his hand the right way to be able to tackle uh, and get guys on the ground. So if he can't go, who's going to slide in uh, for his spot? Uh, Nas and JT. Uh, low JT and uh, Raheem Lane. He's progressing. He's progressing. He's going to be out for the game, but um, you know, kind of showed up Wednesday. Was at the you know the walkthrough and just felt like resting him this week would be the best course of action. He's still day to day, but he'll be out for this game. Did he land funny making that catch? In the game? He did. Yeah, it happened on that catch. Yep. Uh, will Josh Kelly be? Yeah, Josh has had a good week of practice. We're going to make those final determinations, but he's been in practice full all week long. How, how much have you missed sort of his enthusiasm, for lack of a better word? Yeah, well, we miss his production, uh, too, because he was playing at a really high level So and in doing a good job for us in the kicking game, too. So uh, it's going to be good to have him back. He's been working really hard and um, looking forward to getting him back out there. How much have you seen Joshua Palmer uh, kind of develop uh, just over the last couple of weeks, seizing the opportunity with other guys injured, just kind of stepping up? Yeah, Josh has had a lot more opportunities, and uh, that's why we feel the way we do about him. Uh, feel like he's really earning the, the confidence of Justin more and more every day and really carving out a nice role for himself uh, on our team and within the league. And that's what he's got to continue to do is establish that consistency and performance. Um, you know, he's a versatile player. We can line him up different places, and he's shown that um, – he can do a lot of good jobs for us. So uh, it's been good to get that emergence. Sometimes when you have the attrition that we've had, it just really creates opportunities for young players to, 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 to develop more than they would if everybody was healthy. So uh, he's one of those guys that's doing a really good job for us. And we're going to need to, you know, for him to continue to improve uh, down the stretch. And when we do get to full strength, that'll make us that more dangerous. What do you like about how you got to fight on the road this year? Our, our mindset's been good the whole time, uh, really, since I've been here. Uh, we've got a really good mindset. I think it starts with the leadership of your team and guys who have been there and done that. We've got a lot of guys who have accomplished a lot in this league, and um, now they're doing it together with this team. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, when your quarterback can operate at a high level, your center, you know, just that operation, you know how important that is on the road. And um, so I think those two guys on offense uh, doing a great job. And, um, you know, our guys just really uh, play together on the road and, and do what it takes. And we've had a lot of tough, close games on the road. And, um, you know, I expect us to continue to play well. Yeah, Kyler's the, uh, a rare player in the league. You know, he's one of those guys that has, you know, difficult speed to replicate because there aren't, aren't very many quarterbacks that, that run as fast as he does. You know, I think Lamar Jackson and, you know, Justin Fields and some of those guys that have that true elite 4-4 four, four sub, you know, speed. Um, but we've had Easton do a great job for us this week. And um, you just try to simulate the plays the best you can and then the, the locations that you're going to need to be at. But until you get to the game, uh, it's very difficult to simulate someone that's as good as Kyler is. So um, it'll, it'll be a team operation for sure.